Hi everybody, welcome to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs. In today's video, we are doing something that is long overdue. It's time to clear out the bank. So if you're like me and you absolutely love Borderlands and you want to see someone go through emotional damage as I say goodbye to a lot of guns forever and a lot of gear forever, this is the video for you. Because while I've got a, a flak, I have level 72 now and I can't be having 322 bank slots taken up by my mo. So it's time to say goodbye forever. Let's run it. So in my inventory, and you can see right now, I actually have a lot of good gear. Like I've got back burners, free radicals. I, I can mess around with a ton of stuff in this game. I've, my mows, I've cleared Wotan with countless weapons. I think I've done the Guardian takedown probably double digit times at this point. I've cleared all the content that there is to clear. So I'm gonna be going through my bank and I'm going to be selling things one by one because I feel like this is the only way to really do it. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest with you. If I don't see a real reason to keep it, it's gone forever. Rose and thorns, I'm sure it has some really cool effect. Gone forever. More Linoge. Sorry to do it to it. Gone forever. The Echo. It's a consecutive hits echo. Gone forever. Now there are a bunch of these that I I kept them for specific reasons but i don't know why so for that reason it's gone forever the hornet is a cool gun i've got two atlas replays here do i really need more than one atlas replay it is my favorite gun i've got a bunch of them down here let's let's go ahead and sell one of them lucky sevens don't 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 mention the lucky sevens to me the the end goal here is to have an only enough stuff remaining to fit into my inventory so everything that remains behind will be looked at with all of these atlas replays i have to pick i want to say my favorite one let's see this replay is pretty good for rocketeer this replay is really good too they're all really good Let's get rid of this one. The rack attack one. Then my flak, I don't want to be getting any gear from this character. I don't want to be... I don't want any gear from my Moe's to make it onto my flak. I want it to be a pure a pure account. A pure character that we're... Uh, Iron Man, if you will. An action skill and the next two magazines will have bonus corrosive damage. Next two mag corrosive is decent, but... I'm gonna get rid of this Zane one. Again, I'm looking at the anointments. Because the anointments matter so much. I wish they didn't, but they do. Next two mags corrosive. Next two mags fire. Let's get rid of next two mags corrosive. It is useful, but I gotta make I gotta make cuts. You know what? Let's get rid of next two mags fire. And I will keep the 150 over 90 one. 150 over 90 stays. Alright, so for my free radicals. My free radicals. Let's see. Iron Bear Railgun. No, don't need that. Action skill and weapon status effect chance are increased. No, that's gone. While an action skill is active, weapon damage is increased by 100%. That also goes. Next two max corrosive does make a little bit of sense. Let's get rid of this one. Consecutive hits makes a lot of sense too. I think consecutive hits so far is the winner. Any more free radicals? Let's see. Yep. Base slam free radical can go. X this this hell this hell shock must be must go. Honestly, there's no point in running a hell shock if the free radical exists. I'm sorry. Hell shocks are gone. Infinity, get out of, get off my screen. There's my atlas replay. The tizzy isn't really something that I like using on most. So many other options. So goodbye. Lucky seven. I never really used it. Okay, free radical shows, and we get rid of it. Super ball, not a big fan. Grease trap. I think it's a good weapon, but it just takes it takes me out of the flow of combat. If I ever play a Zane, I want to farm my own anyway. The bangerang is a really fun gun, but I would run it to be radiation. Consecutive hits, pack and devastator. I snooze it. Firefly snooze it. The hanging shad is a good niche weapon to have. You can fill up your pistol ammo really quickly, and Mo's. I'll keep that around. The King's Call. I would re I'm gonna refarm my own on Flak. 
this magnificent I'll refarm it companion I think I have one on flak anyways so many clockwork resins that I can honestly sell all but one get rid of a couple of these trick shots now I got a whole bunch of chaosins so when it comes to the chaosin I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one good one One good one is all I want. Are there any more Chaosins underneath? There are. There's a whole bunch of them. Do I have like a consecutive hit or a... Something like that. It doesn't look like I do. Okay, in that case... I want to, I want to be at times two. So let's get rid of these times once. Sorry to the times one variance, but you're just you're leaving forever. So right now the only two chaoses that I have are times two is this fire one and this and this cryo one. I think what I'm going to do is drop the cryo one and we'll keep one chaos and the fire. All right, so I've got a bunch of kibs worth. It's something that I did farm quite a bit. I can keep one of them. I want one that's flexible. That's why I like the Kibbs Worth, because it's flexible. So I'm looking at one that has a couple different elements. This one is good, actually. So times three, it's shock, it's corrosive. It doesn't have the right anointment, but... Being able to be shock, corrosive, and then most has fired over the top, I think that's really nice. It's a nice, flexible weapon. My backpack is full at 50, so let's go ahead and do my first sell. This is going to be pretty satisfying. This is where you make your money. And I think I can actually buy an SDU. I might not have gotten full SDUs here. I do have full SDUs. My backpack, it is only 100 or 50. I mean, ooh, there's a nice Trevenator here. Let's go ahead and sell. Goodbye forever. A lot of good guns in there. But the standard has just been raised. Where did that, where did that Trevenator go? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go grab another, another load. This is, bank clearing out is a really, it's a really tough process because, you know, it's, you got to go win with a clear mind. You can't keep everything. Okay, so this Kibsworth can go. The Torrent. The, again, the reason I'm keeping this Kibsworth is because you can swap it between Shock, which beats Shields, Corrosive, which beats Armor, and most as Fire Damage over the top. A lot of it. And she doesn't really use the Revolter that well. So other characters can kind of get shock on everything. Moe's gets fire and everything, but she doesn't have the best Revolter type playstyle. Okay. I have more Chaosins here, it looks like. Any times tours? Nope. Vanquisher. I don't really know what it does. I'm going to get rid of it. The Torrent is a fun weapon, but I haven't really... I'm, again, the standard is... Is much higher. The crossroad, as much as I like it, it's going. Ion laser, sorry to say, but you're going as well. The Mark threes, you gotta go. I'll keep one EMP five. The only dark army that I'm going to keep is the fire. One. I hope I didn't just put it in my backpack. If I lose my fire dark army, I'll be a sad boy. There we go. So I keep the fire dark army because it's really useful for iron bear stuff. All right. Shot the rest of these dark armies. The needle gun. I'll farm it with a different character. Bloodstar Beast is super rare. I'm going to keep it around. Cutsman, you're gone. All right, so we're getting to my flippers now. Ember's Purge is a cool weapon too. I'll drop the Tsunami. So when it comes to flippers, I have a lot of them. Um, I have a bunch of next two mags. I believe I do have a consecutive hits one. And this is the one I'm going to keep. Radiation for shields. Corrosion for armor. I think that's the one we're going to do. You might be saying you're crazy for not just having a fire flipper, but this is what it is. Sleeping Giant, I'm going to sell. Cutsman, sell. Okay, do I have a bunch of plasma coils. 150 over 90. Do I have a consecutive hits one? I do not. I think I remember not having one. So I think 150 over 90 is the way. You can go next to Max Corrosive, which is super nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep next to Max Corrosive. Is it next to Max Corrosive or is it 150 over 90? 
This is I know I, I have it in my backpack. I can I can grab it. I think I'm going to keep next to Max Corrosive. Again, I really like the flexibility. The troubleshooter, I'm not too sure what it does, but it's getting sold. Phasor, fun gun, getting rid of it. Now we're to the soul renders. Lucian's calls, don't like him. Boomsickle. Honestly, overhyped. I'm getting rid of it. I've used it a lot. I don't like it that much. Soul render time. Get rid of the barrage. I'm trying to make sure it's only soul renders up here. Do we have any more soul renders hiding down here? I don't think so. These are the only ones I got. I'm, I must have cleared them out before. So I've got an X2 mags radiation on a corrosive soul render. That's really nice. An X2 mags corrosive on a on a radiation. So these two are kind of the same. Fire rate 7.8. 7. This one's damage is much, much higher though. This one's a fire. Okay, I've got a fire consecutive hit soul render. That's the one I'm going to keep. It'll be my it'll be my absolute just fire extraordinaire weapon. Get rid of a good juju, a tri bolt, a sickle. Sorry to this times eight consecutive hits. Monarch. Wow. We're keeping that. I won't put it on flak, but we're keeping it. Rebel yell. Goodbye. Rowan's calls are nice, especially radiation ones. I think I keep. Got for Teddy gone. Boomsickle, don't like it. Don't really like it that much. All right, so Trevenator is one of my favorite guns. It's going to be hard for me to say goodbye to certain Trevenators. I got to make a good decision here. I think none of these really have the best anointments anyway. I think I'm going to just take a fire one and blast kids with it. Yeah, I'm going to keep the fire one. I think it's more fun. Oh, my backpack is full. It's time, it's time to make another uh, another exit. Sorry to all these kids worth. I'm sure a lot of you that play Borderlands 3, you're like... That there are so many good guns that you're getting rid of. It's like, yep, the times are times are tough. I've I've been getting back into the game, and well, a lot of this stuff has got to go. My flak is getting geared up as we speak. You know, well, not as I speak right now, but in the interim. Right now, I'm going through. I'm going through DLC three in order to get the light show. But it's a grind, you know, early, especially early on. Okay, so I still have a Trevenator here. Let's just drop it. There we go. Butchers, as much as I like the Butcher, I think it goes. Recursion. Nope. Tigs Boom. Guardian Angel Mayhem 10. I'll keep that. Uh, Hellwalker, it, as much as it's fun, I think I get rid of it. Okay, Launchers. I'm not very versed on Launchers, to be honest with you. So, I'm actually going to get rid of all these rocket pods. This yellow cake, rocket pod, rocket pod. And I'm only going to keep back burners and plague bearers. That's, I'm, I'm old school. Black bearers or plague bearers and back burners. That is my, that is what I do. So, I, I do want a couple different kick chargers. Action skill and splash damage corrosive. This one's like my OG. Okay, I think I keep I think I actually do keep these back burners So plague bearers the most important one is a radiation one this consecutive hits radiation one and then besides that Consecutive hits cry uh, cryo that's all we're gonna need for those so consecutive hits radiation stays And consecutive hits cryo stays everything else goes even fire what? I have consecutive hits. Corrosive. Don't need it. Sandhawk? We're going to get to the Sandhawks in a second. Skull Master, I'm sorry, but you go for now. Binary Operator. Layudas, you can go. I'll refarm some. Krakatoa, you can go as well. Even though I do like the Krakatoa a lot. Boogeyman, we're going to get to them in a second too. Disruptor, gone. Oh, well, we're almost to shields. Okay. So let's get... Let's think about these back burners. I need something that can kill. I mean, to be fair, I have I have boss killers and flippers. Honestly, I don't need these back burners, and I do want to keep the plague the plague bearers though. Sandhawk, not my favorite bossing weapon, to be honest. I'm gonna get rid of them all. They just nerfed it to the ground too much. It's not as good as it used to be. Okay, so I gotta have a good boogeyman somewhere. 
So for these boogeymen, which one's my absolute best? X2 mags radiation on a radiation one goes kind of hard. Let's drop most of these except for this radiation radiation. All right, old gods. I have a bunch of I, my shields. I got so oh, that's a, a great time to stop. I'm completely done with my guns. These are the guns that make the final cut. A free radical, an atlas replay, a chad, a clockwork res, Kaosin, Kibsworth, Torrent, EMP 45, Dark Army Plus, Bloodstar Beast just for its rarity, Flipper, Ember's Purge for its rarity. Um, I, I have two flippers right now. Let's get rid of this one. I can't grab it. Okay, so only this flipper will survive. The Plasma Coil, the Soul Render, the Monarch, the Rowan's Call, the Trevenator, the Guardian Angel, the Kick Charger, that's going. Two Plague Bearers. Honestly, I'm, I'm only going to go for one Plague Bearer. I'm going to do the Radiation one. Get rid of the Cryo one. One and a Boogeyman. We're gonna we're gonna keep it real tight. Only one gun of each type. Slap them into our Moe's backpack, and that'll be like, you know, when we want to play Moe's, that like this Moe's is geared, you know, and this let the sell happen. Wish there was a sell all feature, but goodbye forever. Very nice. So we're moving out of the shields, and let me tell you, when we get to the class mods, is when it's gonna get actually heinous. Okay. So, the kick charger, the one flipper has got to go, and the kick charger can also go. Yeah. And one of these plague bearers goes. I'm gonna say in my heart of hearts that we don't have. A, a really fun ice gun. We have plenty of radiation guns. Goodbye, Plague Bear. I'm sorry. How can I do that? I have to keep the radiation one because it causes explosions. It just it synergizes too well. Okay, Boogeyman stays. We're really we got a lot of radiation, not a lot of corrosion, but again, our flipper comes in corrosive. That's all you need. Okay, so, Old God, Corrosive, I don't see it being that important for us. Plus Ultra, that one's really good for Iron Bear piloting. The Madcap. I'll get rid of the Madcap. A Fire Old God, that stays. The Gas Mask. Uh, I don't think so. As much as it would be cool, I don't think I need it. We have an Action Skill Start Revolter, which is really important. A Shock Old God? I think I'll keep the fire one. I'm only going to keep one old god, I think. Nova Burner gone. Red card gone. Asclepius. What does this one do? No, I'm going to get rid of it. Stop gap is cool, but getting rid of it. Lots of stop gaps. A front loader? No. If I... I'm going to say plus ultra with this is actually so much better than the plus ultra with this. Yeah, the plus ultra that, that gives me action skill cooldown. Is really nice. Because then I can get it back up right away. This snowshoe is insane. So we're gonna keep that. The zero dot M will get rid of that. The back cam, the firewall, drop it. The raid war, drop it. Ash shield can drop. The backup plan, Watson. Now we got a lot of super soldiers. And I think this one's the best. Gain fire. Gain fire rate, ammo regen, and movement speed when your shield is full, and gain on, on shield full, gain protective barrier. So on, on your action skill start, you get that protective barrier, and you get the buff. So it's actually just an insanely OP shield. And that, I wouldn't necessarily mind transferring over to my to my flak, um, because I got it through the vault card system, which to, and, that's, and that's progressed between the characters. I really wouldn't mind doing it. Okay. Rid of these burners. The recharger. No. Transformer can... Go. Provide transformer. Mr. Caffeine, you can go. The rerouter. Now, this is the one that I want to keep. I want to keep the rerouter. 
Mm, do I really do I really care about a rough rider? Probably not. Mitosis hex is good, but we have a, a recurring hex radiation, so make sure we get back that recurring hex radiation. Last thing we want to do is sell that. Imagine. So we have a recurring hex radiation. That's the only real hex we're going to need. These other ones can go. I've got a, a decent array of shields, offense and defense, I think. Fish slap, as much as it's fun, I ha never use it on Mo, so I'm going to get rid of it. Buy the transfusion grenade, firestorm, the Kzar, firestorm, epicenter, gone. Floating maddening tracker stays, for sure. Buy a fastball. My Tosis Hunter Seeker goes. I'm sorry. Your backpack is full. We are getting closer and closer to having a completely emptied out bank, which would be absolutely huge for us. Absolutely huge for us. Okay, so go ahead and buy all of this amazing loot. We, once we get to these class mods is where we're going to have to start making some serious decisions. I want to get down to one class mod per variant. One of each legendary class mod. And that is going to be tough. Very, very tough. Okay. So, the shields, I think we are good. The recurring hex, cloning mining tracker. Everything else can probably go. Even the Nagatas. I'm sorry. Mesmer, even you. Gas call, even you. Okay, it is time for class mods. So, let's start with the Blastmaster. It's the most simple, and they're all look to be up here. Don't look for any more that are down here. Okay, they got one down here. This one is actually really good. This one's the one to beat. Splash damage, SMG damage, and Jacob's weapon crit damage. This, the third roll doesn't matter at all. The first two are really, really strong. That's the one to beat for Blastmaster. And it has one in redistribution, two in vampire. It has decent skills as well. So, Last Master has decent skills across the board, though, so it's not going to be that big of a problem. Light off, heavy weapon, and shotgun damage. We're going to say it's not going to beat it. Pistol, Vlad off, and health regen. Nope, it's ghost. Grenade damage on this one. SMG damage, but it's not as good. This blast master can go. Action skill damage, that one can go. Assault, Sniper, and Vladoff. It's really good for the Boogeyman, but there's no redistribution. I'm just going to get rid of it. One of each. One of each. I just got to keep telling myself it's one of each. Okay. So this blast master is the only one that stays. And it boosts my flipper more than anything, which is nice. Okay. Next, green monster. The green monster is like a blast master, but it adds corrosive to it. I think I only have one of them. I might have already cut my losses with a bunch. No, I have a few. I've got at least, I've got three, it looks like. Three. Okay, let's see this one. I would like more points in click, click. Looks like I only have one max. Okay, so weapon damage, doll weapon, fire rate. That's not bad. Incendiary resistance doesn't matter. Weapon magazine size is big. This one's very doll heavy as well. Weapon damage or weapon magazine size? With the green monster, I think the magazine size is actually a higher roll. We're going to keep the, ma the magazine size green monster and the other two can go. That's a tough, that's a tough one to take, but we do it. All right, so now let's go. Rocketeers will be last. Do Rocketeers last because it's my favorite. Blood, blood letters. Heavy weapon damage is going to be tough to be here. Although I can't see the skills on this one. Okay, it's faith. Those are decent skills. That middle one, though, you kind of want one without it. But this one's the one to beat. Splash damage, Torg weapon damage. And weapon reload speed, that's actually quite nice. Sorry, full damage. No, this one can go for sure. How many blood letters do I have? I probably don't have that many. Yeah. It's a class mod I don't use that much. Okay. 
Where'd it go? Blood letter. Here it is. The dark orange one. Oh, I do have a few down here. Splash damage, weapon reload speed, toward weapon damage. That's really nice. That's the one to beat. Because I believe that... I believe that our launchers that are going to be Torg. Yeah, our... Our Plague Bearer is Torg. Do we not have a back burner? I guess I got rid of the back burner. Gone forever, huh? That's okay. I mean, we have flippers for bossing. It doesn't matter. The launcher... The, the reason why I want Torg stuff is because blood letters go well with launchers. Okay. I'm happy with where we're at. Let's keep it moving. So we got one blood letter. Okay, a bear trooper. If, honestly, the bear trooper can probably go. Unfortunately, I like the bear trooper, but... Don't need it for anything. The eternal flame does... Way more for piloting the bear. And the raging bear is much better anyway. Yeah, I got a lot of heat exchangers. Holy cow. The flare class mod is really good too. Okay, so... Let's focus up. Action skill damage on the flare is nice. What else do I have on the flare? Splash, SMG. That's my boss killing. That's my boss shredder, I think. Okay. These are both good. I'm gonna go with the... The action skill damage one. That's... I mean, it's absolutely insane for bossing. So, sapper class mod. Do I have any more sapper class mods? Or just the one? I think I keep this one too. It's really nice. It's assault rifle damage, flat off weapon accuracy, and weapon magazine size. It's quite nice. Alright, my green monsters. Now mine sweeper. And we get rid of this Amara one. This. These ones that the seeing deads I'm never going to use. A ludogram. I'll get rid of that too. Okay. Let's go get rid of these. Air Trooper, goodbye forever. Eternal Flame, you can stick around for now. Rocketeer is going to be hard. Let's get rid of this rock. This Eternal Flame, this one has a like the the circle on it. Yeah, yeah. Unless that one has action skill damage, let's just see. Does that Eternal Flame have action skill damage on it? No, it doesn't. So then, in that case, it doesn't really matter. We'll keep this Eternal Flame for now until something beats it. Yeah, one flare with action skill damage. One sapper. One green monster. Okay, minesweeper time. This one can probably go. If it has Torah cost promotion, typically I don't like it. I don't think I have a minesweeper like that. And then this minesweeper right here is pretty goaded. Weapon critical hit damage, weapon damage, grenade damage. I mean, it's really, really nice. Raging Bear. You can go because you don't have action skill damage on you. What's down here? Rocketeer. Another Minesweeper. This Minesweeper can go. It's all heat exchangers from this point forward, basically. And this Blastmaster stays. Okay, so now we got to figure out which Rocketeer we keep. Action skill damage. Action skill cooldown rate. Weapon damage. Pistol damage. And minus 25% damage reduction. Notice how all these are missing. If it has Torque Cross Promotion, I'm getting rid of it. There we go. All these are missing Torque Cross Promotion. That's on purpose. Splash damage, Assault Rifle damage, Vladoff. That's really nice. Hmm. We're not really going to be reloading our Vladoffs that much. That's kind of a wasted stat point. Let's... If we're going to be doing Rocketeer, we're going to want to be jumping in and out of Iron Bear. Let's take the one with action skill damage and action skill cooldown. It, it just matches the, the play style the best. Okay. Now, for our heat exchangers, this is all about action skill minigun. So if it doesn't have action skill damage, we get rid of it. No action skill damage, we get rid of it. Then after we, after we cycle those ones out... 
and we're full after we cycle those ones out then we can make a decision on our heat exchanger only one copy of each is the goal let's go We're getting close to the end. A lot of these class mods are getting tossed, and I never thought I would take a bite of them. Okay. And if, if our bank, if our inventory can't handle the gear, then we're going to have to keep making more cuts, and it's going to get really ugly. All right, so. Rocket's here. Okay, we're on the heat exchanger. Does it have action skill damage? No, it doesn't. Goodbye. Action skill damage? It does not. Nope. This one does. This one does. Does not. Does not. Does. Does. Uh, these all four do have it. So now let's take a look at the skills. If anyone don't have that one point, then we can get rid of them. Plus three. The most important skill for this class mod is in the purple tree. It's this one right here. Amber damage and damage resist. It's just, it's the biggest point. Single point. So, if you have plus points in that, it, you really get a boost. And I think that this one right here with plus three in it is the way. But doesn't that plus three? It goes. So this one's nice. Very nice. Okay. And our Blastmaster. Very cool. Company man. I'm going to... One of each company man is going to be about it. Miss Moxie's endowment... Goodbye forever. Auto idol. Goodbye forever. We'll keep one toboggan. We'll keep one banjo. Only one though. Holy grail gone. Tobo oh, I got rid of my toboggan. I had another toboggan here. Doesn't really matter which one I keep. Okay. I think maybe the experience gain from combat is actually a little bit better than this one because I can farm vault card XP faster if I've got experience gain from combat. It's a little bit of a deep one, but that is what it is. A Schluter, definitely keeping. A Snowdrift, Deathless, keeping. Spark Plug, Launchpad, we're keeping. Boxes and Dynamic, gone. Wait, elephant. Sorry, you're gone. Keep our pearl. My pearl's not that great, by the way. A uh, zappy death rattle. Company man. Okay, a lot of company men. We're gonna have to go through them. We're gonna get rid of the T door company man. I really don't think I. This is a pretty nice company man, though. Mysterious artifact. I'm gonna get rid of it. I have a snowdrift, but I can use toboggan. And these are some old snowdrift stuff I'm never gonna use again. So. Let's talk Atlas. Do I have another Atlas one anywhere? Nope. That one can stay. COV. Do I have another COV one anywhere? That one can stay. Cool. Doll. Do I have a second doll? Do not. Cool. It can stay. Hyperion. Any more Hyperion? Nope. It can stay. Jacobs. Do I have any more Jacobs? Nope. That one can stay. Molly Wong. No more Molly Wong. Cool. That one can stay. TDR. That one can stay. Torque. So it's just three Vlad. I've got to make my decision. Max size, fire rate, and damage is nice. Reload speed, ignite chance. Okay. This one can definitely go. Max size, fire rate, and damage. Reload speed, ignite chance. What about this one? Accuracy, max size, and fire rate. No, this one can go. Oh, this one has 14% move speed, though. But the damage is insane. And the fire rate, it's so much more DPS. Okay. I think... We are down to 55 items. Now, we can only keep 50 in our in our inventory. We can only keep 50 in our inventory, which means we're going to have to make some cuts. This is going to get real tight. It's going to get real tight. Okay, so I think I want to keep the snowshoe. 
The Rough Rider can go. That's one cut. Recurring Hex. These Both these grenades have to stay. Do I cut class mods? Hmm. Because if I don't... Do I have any weapons that I'm not using, really, for company men? But the thing is, I want to be able to use a company man of one of each, at least. And I like having one of each of these class mods, too. I have two Rocketeers. I can cut one. Yeah, that's a good find right there. Okay, two blood letters. Good find as well. Splash damage, weapon fire rate, or splash damage, weapon reload speed. You know what? Let's go with the fire rate one. Okay. We're down to 52. Two more cuts, and we are good to go. Blood Star Beast, Embers Purge. They are rare, but they can go. They're not part of the actual build. And the Torrent. That one can go too. We're down to 49. We can make even more cuts. I like all these shields. These are these are like the core shields of the game. And I have a double absorb capacity revolt arm. I'm a bit of a beast. Um If anybody watches K6's farm revolter videos, that's a pretty good revolter right there. Double absorb roll. Not triple, but double. Okay, actually, having 49 items makes a little bit of sense to me. Because if I get a gun or something on the ground, that... Right, by the way, this Bloodstar Beast is gone forever. Someone's like, do not sell that Bloodstar Beast. Someone's saying that to me right now. Do not sell... The bus, that, that bus, that bus star beast. You can't. It's just not. It's just not right. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna do it. Okay, and here we go. Say goodbye to our blood star beast. See ya. And goodbye to the lot of ya. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now. My inventory is completely empty. And when I fill up my inventory, what it will be now, it'll be one away from being full. So when I find a new piece of gear, I'll immediately be like, yep, I'm going to put this in my bank. Because at this point, if something is good enough to replace something I'm already using, it's a definite go back to Sanctuary anyways. Let's go back to Sanctuary anyways and definitely put it in the bank. Oh, I only have 42 items. I guess I, I did cut more than I thought I did. Hmm. Oh, it's because of my inventory slots. I understand. Okay, very cool. I still have the Ludogram. But when it comes to my actual build, if I'm just going to throw together something real quick, it'd probably be Rocketeer's my go-to. Um, Super Soldier. Recurring Hex is fine. And we'll go with a Snowdrift Deathless or a... Probably just a Schluter. And the Atlas replays number one. We'll go MP45 number two for the movement speed tech. We will go something fun like a flipper number three. And I typically like to go the clockwork res number four. However, in this case, I'm just going to go for a plague bear. There we go. And our bank is completely emptied out. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thanks for hanging out with me as I completely cleared up my bank and getting it ready for my flack to, to move in and do his thing. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye.